this is not in my kitchen this is my first official recipe and sorry about the noise but my dishwasher is running and this is a test trial I don't know how this is going to work out so we'll see um, I hope to eventually move up to a world I can show you the entire process but for right now I'm going to show you the end product and give you the recipe now what usually happens when I make a cookie recipe is I just throw everything in the mixer and if it comes out cooking I'm like yay it worked so I have a bunch of cookie recipes this one is dark chocolate mint walnut cookies now here's the thing I did a lot of stuff for the holidays and I had some things left over and one of the things I had left over was some mint baking chips and some walnuts so I said well well I had some other stuff too but they didn't really gel with my thought what this recipe should be so I threw these two together and hey it came up cooking nice cooked too So Larry be pleasantly pleased when he come home. I know he'll grab a glass of milk or some ice cream and go to town. Items you'll need for this. I recommend you use a stand mixer. Uh, I happen to have one. Let me cut away and show it to you. It's, it's really heavy. I think they're like 35 pounds. Um, I got it like 10 or 12 years ago and it's still just ticking right along. KitchenAid. I don't have a pantry, I just have a shelf with all my stuff on it, and there she is. I got a black one and I hot rotted it up, and I said, Ooh, I like it. I have a hand mixer, but I only use that for when I do like lights and stuff like that, little small cakes and maybe cupcakes. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the cookie. I haven't tried any of them yet, but they smell delicious and what I did was I put everything in the stand mixer and let it all mix together and it came out to be a very dense almost well not wet but a very dense dough I want to call it a batter but no it's cookies are considered dough so I had to use uh, wet hands to get them the right shape and my large ice cream scoop recently just tore all the pieces to just fall apart. I'm not buying another one like that. So I had to use the medium one. And I don't know where it's at. It's probably in the sink. But um, my cookies are usually a lot better. I mean, big cookies. I like big cookies. But I'm satisfied with these. Yeah, and, and once I got it like scooped up and put on the parchment, then I had to like wet my hands and kind of shape them. So they were like standing this way and that way with all, all the mint chip things in it. And they baked at 350 for 17 minutes. And I put them on the cooling rack and they all have gotten a little cooler. And what usually what I do is that I'll make sure I put my cookies in something with a lid on it. Now what that does is that the cookie will still be warm and with the lid on it, it'll like steam the cookies and they'll be soft. Uh, like in the morning or uh, so, they'll be soft. Where's my lid? Let me find it. Yeah. I store them in something with a lid, and that makes them softer. But if you like crunchy cookies and got something from them sitting in, hey, knock yourself out. Me, I like them soft. That's about it. I mean, it's cookies. Um, I can tell you what I used, the recipe, and everything was put into the 
bowl of the stand mixer. I put one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one third cup dark cocoa powder, one teaspoon chocolate pudding mix, one fourth cup stevia, that's a sugar substitute, one fourth cup light brown sugar, two tablespoons butter powder. Believe it or not, the butter seasoning for popcorn cuts way down on the use of butter, way down. That's what I use and that like sort of dies out a lot of things that I, I make. Okay, I'm gonna continue on. One fourth cup white cane sugar and sometimes I'll substitute um, honey in a recipe and that helps on the sugar content and everything. Okay, three tablespoons of oil, two teaspoons cold brew decaf, two eggs, five to six ounces of mint baking chips, one cap mint extract, one cap butter extract, one eighth teaspoon baking soda, one tablespoon sour cream, and a sprinkle of salt. That's the recipe. And I'll put it up on the screen so you can see it. And I don't even know how to explain it. Cookies are sort of like a chemical reaction. And once you get used to the process of making something, an actual cookie, then the rest of them just come to you like that. It's easy. Because the batter was so dense, but still a little wet, uh, in between batches, I had two batches, um, I put everything, the, the bowl with the dough in it, the scoop, I put that in the refrigerator in between batches. And that kept it a good firm consistency and it didn't get too loose. See. Trying to think is there anything else? I don't think there is. Hey, you got cookies. Let me know if you try the recipe. I want to know how yours turned out. If you want to send in a picture of yours, that's great. I'll post it. Um, I don't have a community tab yet on this channel, but I hope to get one soon. If I Probably I will if I start adding more stuff to the channel. But, uh, that's it. That's my first recipe. I hope you enjoy it. God bless.